Today, we're doing a $1 versus $1 million zoo anomaly build challenge. I'm Silly, and this is Smilecat and the Zookeeper. Over here is the button that we're going to press in order to decide which one we're getting. <gasps> I want to go first. No, I'm going first. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Well, you can get between $1, $100,000, or $1 million budget to build your zoo anomaly. So, Zookeeper, why don't you go first? Oh, oh thank you. And I got... Ooh, I got one dollar. Oh, you gotta be pranking me right now. It seems like you have the worst one, Zookeeper. That oh. means I can get the million dollar. Uh, I doubt you're gonna get the million dollar. Even if I got Zero. the worst one, I'm gonna do better than all of you guys. I, I have a thing with dirt. Okay, hmm. well, good luck. Thank you. My turn. Which one did you get? <gasps> the... Oh, the hundred thousand I- mm. Well, that one's still pretty good, though. That's a really, like, decent-sized budget to build a zoo. So that means the last one- yeah. Guess. Should be the one million dollar one. There we go. All right, so now let's all go get into our squares and start building. You're gonna get destroyed, smiling cat. First, I'm gonna destroy your build, and then I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, whatever you say. Okay, well, let's not fight just yet. Let's just worry about building our walls, because every zoo has a nice set of brick walls, but it seems like yours are made out of dirt, zookeeper. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna use some cool texturing with some rocks I found on the ground. Oh, well, that might be good. All right, let's see, what kind of bricks should I use? What screams expensive? Or maybe I shouldn't use bricks at all. Maybe I should use these diamond blocks. Or actually, hmm, why don't we use emerald? It's more on theme with zoo. When I think zoo, I think green. There we go, we'll build it up by four. And then we're gonna grab a wand and I'm gonna make a selection here and make a selection all the way on the other side. And right here, I'm gonna do walls, emerald, and boom. Now we have our walls. And at the start, we probably wanna make an entrance area. So so I'm gonna have to find the center point, which I think is like right here. All right, and I'm gonna make a huge hole in here to make the gate and probably wanna build up on the top to give it some more depth. And then we're gonna need some doors. Let's see what doors we have here. Ooh, what about this large double jungle door? This looks really good. And boom, now our entrance is ready, but we probably wanna add a sign. So let's get a model block and let's place a sign. All right, and now we have the sign here, but we're gonna have to scale it up a little bit. So let's scale it up by eight and let's place it in the center. Center and probably want to drag it back a little bit so it's not just floating in midair. There we go. And that looks good. All right, so now that we have this done, we have to start working on the pathing for our zoo. And I think our path should be made out of diamond blocks. Let's get a point right here and then let's go all the way down here and get a second point. And then this is going to be the start of our path. And then right here could be our first exhibit. I'm going to make our exhibit out of gold blocks. So we're going to place one gold block here and place another one all the way down here. I'm going to get two points and then walls gold. And now I have to think of what is the most expensive animal to place in here. So I think we probably want to place some lions. After all, lions are the king of the jungle. And placing these will be really good for our budget because they're extremely expensive. There we go. Oh gosh, they could easily get out. We probably want to place some bars as well. So let's get these steel bars. All right, we're gonna get one point here and then I'm gonna get another point up here and it seems like the lion's already starting to wander off oh my gosh get back in there all right and uh this one's escaping so we probably want to pick them up there we go and let's place them back in there and now all four of our lions are accounted for but this exhibit looks a little boring i think we might want to place an acacia sapling in here to kind of give the feeling of africa i need a recommendation silly uh, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal? Oh, gosh. It has to be a koala. Uh, I can't afford that one. Pick another. Ooh, um, well, how about pigs? I mean, pigs are pretty cheap. I can't afford that one. Pick another. Uh -oh. Um, a rat? Oh, perfect. Luckily, I, I have a friend from New York who has quite a bit of those. Oh, okay. Well, uh, then you should have no problem. That should fit your budget. All right, let's place this steel bar door in here, and then we probably want to just work on this just a wee bit more so i'm gonna just break all this grass right here and kind of create a little dip in the exhibit and then i'm gonna get a water bucket and i'm gonna create a nice little pond right here for the animals to drink out of and i probably also want to get this sand block and replace the edges 
That way it looks more like a pond. And there we go. That doesn't look so bad. And another thing we need to get is this food barrel. All right, let's use this raw beef and we're going to place this all inside this animal feeder. And this looks extremely delicious. These lions should love this. And we probably also want to give them a water bowl just in case they don't want to go over and drink water out of here. And uh, I think another thing these lions need is a scratching post. So let's get this scratching post and this should make for some really good enrichment for all these lions. And wow, this looks great already. I'm just going to bone meal some more of the grass so that way it looks a little bit more natural and we have some flowers that sprout up and yeah, it's very pretty. So I was thinking about this, but we might want to place an entrance here because if we don't place an entrance here, how are people going to check into the zoo? How about these dark oak planks? This looks really good. All right. And then there's the shape of our little check in place, but we probably want to add a roof to it as well. And I'm thinking we should use light blue wool since light blue wool is my favorite color after all. And we'll place this on top like so. Small cat, what, what are you doing? I'm giving you friends. Uh, I don't need your friends. Get them out of here. You're messing up my zoo. Oh my gosh. You're such a oh, annoying person. Wait, what are you even doing over here? Why does your exhibit look so like dark and gothic? <laughs> does not oh maybe i should make it dark and gothic all right and then we want to just give the roof just a bit more definition so i'm going to just build up by another block and there we go and we probably want to add a checkout machine here and boom that looks good i think we really cooked with that all right now we need to add another enclosure so i think the next enclosure should be right here and boom now our second enclosure shape is done and what am i going to put in here i think i think i'm going to place gorillas so let's get this jungle sapling and we're just gonna make a giant jungle tree there we go oh wait that's not as big as i thought it was gonna be but uh, i mean i guess it's still pretty big and now we're gonna place these gorillas let's place this food barrel in here and then let's also place this water bowl and we might want to put some bananas in this food barrel because i think bananas are after all a gorilla's favorite food and boom there we go and uh, we probably want to make this look just a little bit more homier for these guys and we need some kind of entertainment for these guys to play with so i'm thinking what if we use oh this tire swing looks really fun okay i think they'll get a real kick out of this so we'll place this tire swing right here and that's another enclosure finished and i should probably check and see what the other guys are doing right now so let's check on smile cat oh it looks like they finished their first enclosure and oh wait they put rhinos in here that's a really good pick uh hey smile cat uh, i'm just taking a peek at your build so far hopefully you don't mind yeah peeking oh what are you working on now what's this place for snakes oh wait are you making a reptile house mm -hmm. oh that should be really cool i can't wait to see that uh zookeeper what have you been working on um oh hey, hey my silver fish are getting out that's not right they're supposed to be fish oh oh gosh wait you play silver fish instead of fish ew they're it's gross oh, okay well you know what uh, since I'm so rich and all from this $1 million budget, what if I give you an upgrade? Can I at least get a bench? That's all I really want. Um, I was thinking instead, what if I give you this chest full of diamonds, which you can use to upgrade whatever part of your base that you like? Oh, thank you. There you go. It's not a million diamonds, but it should do. Oh, that is a million diamonds. I said oh, it's gosh, not a million these... diamonds, but it should do. It kind of looks like it might be, but oh, I gotta kill these silverfish. Yeah, you kind of do and um, why don't you use them oh them. Ow, oh my gosh wait okay well Missing. you know what i don't really care that much about them i, I hate silverfish so yeah uh, kill them however you want to i'm gonna go back and work on my zoo all right and now that i'm back in my zoo i should probably work on another enclosure uh so let's actually get this path right here and hmm i'm thinking maybe right here there should be a picnic area so let's set this to diamond there we go uh but it's kind of uneven and i know some people get really upset about that so let's just place that there and it's still a little bit uneven oh no there we go Don't all fixed unevenness uh, uh no wait do you care about unevenness small cat nope i like everything uneven oh gosh you really are a monster ew all right well now that i got this picnic area set up i'll worry about placing the picnic tables later but i probably want to get started on placing the next enclosure 
which is going to be a bird enclosure. And now our bird enclosure is ready. So let's open up the doors and we probably want to place some trees in here for the birds to sit on. So let's get these oak saplings and let's just place one right here at the back and one right here in the front. All right. Uh, I don't think these saplings are going to work. So we might just want to build it ourselves. So let's just get some oak logs and there we go. And then now we probably want to get some leaves. So let's get these oak leaves. I'm going to place a ring of leaves right here and then another one at the top. So that way the birds have multiple places to sit at and boom there we go and now we probably want to place our bird of choice in here and i think the bird that i want to go for is going to be this bald eagle bald eagles are after all the american bird and there we go so they have to be extremely expensive all right and then let's place hmm we probably want to place a perch for these birds to stand on as well this will really help with their enrichment so let's place one hmm let's get this gold block and we'll place a gold block here and a gold block here and we'll place the perches on top of them and we probably need to give them a water bowl as well and we also need to give them a food barrel full of seeds so let's get this food barrel and let's just fill this entire feeder with seeds for them to eat and there we go that should be really good okay well now the bird enclosure is done and that makes three enclosures done so far well i think i only really need one or two more and then we should be finished all right then we want to work on our next enclosure over here and this one i think should be hmm i think it should be a panda enclosure but not just pandas i think it should be red pandas and then let's Let's get these steel bars all right and here we go hmm all right we have the steel bars and we probably want to place uh maybe some bamboo instead of placing these steel bars what if we place bamboo bars instead yeah so let's do walls zawa bamboo fence and there we go that looks really good and now we probably want to get these bamboos so here we go all right now we have this little forest of bamboo so i think it's safe to place our red pandas in here now and we probably want to just place a bit more bamboo and what do red pandas eat uh wait they should probably eat bamboo, right? I mean, you'd think so. You, you would think so. They're pandas maybe. after all. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's place this food barrel here and then let's uh, just fill this thing with bamboo. And there we go. Uh Oh, and it even changed the texture of the barrel. That's pretty cool. Hmm, and we need to make an entrance here as well. I almost forgot about that. So let's create a door right here. All right, we'll get this bar fence door. There we go. And we might also want to place a little lake here as well. So let's get the water bucket out again and let's just break away some of these blocks and we're going to just create a nice pond for these red pandas to drink out of. And there we go. This is a nice exhibit for our red pandas. Uh, do we want to? Uh, we probably want to put a ceiling on this because I'm pretty sure they could climb and I don't want them escaping or anything. That'd be really bad. And boom, that's another enclosure finished. Uh, and now that I'm thinking about it, we have enough space for an enclosure right here, but also maybe a gift shop over here. So let's make a path that goes all the way down behind the gorilla enclosure. And we're going to just set this to diamonds. All right. And then we want to get this bamboo wall. And I think this bamboo wall will be used for our gift shop. All right. And then let's get our wand back out. And I'm going to get one point right here and another point right here. And we're going to do walls and boom, there we go. And we need to make another little checkout area for the customers. And that looks good. All right, now we're going to get some shelving. So let's get some shelves. And these Mexican shelves look really good. So we're going to place a string of these down here. And we probably want to place another set on top. And this is where we're going to put all of our plushies at. And now we have a whole set of plushies that we could place. So let's place these sea turtles and this platypus, these gorillas, elephants, monkeys, tigers, eagles, and giraffes. And uh, we need another set of plushies for the bottom one. All right, so how about we place these cows, these pigs, these sheep, squids. Oh, wait, this one's stuck. Wait, why can't I place this one? There we go. These chickens. Is this a tiger plushie? Oh, I think it is, but it's not going to fit right there. So we'll place on the other side and then we'll place this squirrel, this bunny and this Totoro. And boom, now our gift shop is done and we probably want to place a sign in the front of it. So let's get a, hmm, let's see what signs we have. Ooh, we have these zoo signs. Place this right here. Oh, wait, this doesn't go on here. We can place it on the wall, though. Um, that looks good, but maybe let's get a hanging sign. And what do we have here? We have... Ooh, there's a lot of signs we could pick from. Hmm. How about this candy shop sign? And there we go. That looks good. All right, and now we just have to work on our last exhibit. And I think for this exhibit, we're going to have to get an underwater animal. So let's build the exhibit one more time. All right, and now that we got rid of this dirt, we probably want to place something at the bottom. And we probably want to fill this dirt as well. We don't want the water getting dirty or anything. So let's set this to gold. All right, and... And now that we have the enclosure done, we just have to fill it with water. And there we go. And hmm, what should our underwater mob be? I'm thinking, what if we do orcas? Orcas are, after all, the most apex predator of the sea. 
And there we go. We'll just place a single orca. That looks good. And what do orcas need? I think they need food. So let's get this underwater feeder. Place it down here. And I'm going to place all this raw beef inside of it. Because I'm pretty sure they're carnivores. And there we go. All right. So now we have the enclosures done. We just have to work on the picnic area. So let's get some vending machines. And let's get a soda machine. And now that we have the soda machines placed, we just got to get a picnic table. And boom. Now our picnic tables are placed. And we probably want to just add a bit more decoration here. So I'm going to get these. Um... These recycle bins could be really good. So let's get a recycle bin and place it one here. Then I think we could place another here next to the orca enclosure. And hmm, probably want to place one at the start and one near the gift store. And that looks good. Uh, but hmm, we still have this little area right here. And I think maybe this could be a good playground. I know this is a little bit unconventional, but I think it'd be pretty cool if we had a playground just for the kids to play in. And then they can die. Uh, no, why would they die? No reason. Uh, that's a little creepy. Why would you say something like that? It'd be a shame if the animals got loose. What? Uh, okay, well, I don't know what you're saying. So I'm going to place this slide right here and these monkey bars. And, hmm. All right, there we go. Now we have the seesaws, monkey bars, and a slide. And I think right here should be, hmm, we'll just place, oh, do we have a swing set? I'm pretty sure we do. We'll place this swing set. And there we go. Well, I think my zoo is all finished. What about you guys? Um, almost. Mine is done. Ooh. Wait. Um, I just got a really cool sneak peek of your smile cat and it looks amazing. I, um, I'm just gonna uh, zoom right past it. And so are we ready <gasps> to judge, guys? Uh, almost. All right, guys. Well, time's up. Now let's get in the center and let's uh, actually, I think we have to start over here with the zookeepers. All right, zookeeper, are you ready to give us the tour of your lovely, lovely zoo? Which is probably not lovely because the walls are made out of dirt. I think oh, it looks don't pretty judge nice. It by its cover. Welcome to my zoo. Uh, it's a tight. Uh, yeah. All right. uh, over here, we got our first. I thought you exhibit, said it looked good, Spellcat. Why are you making those noises? Well, I, I was just having some trouble getting through, but it looks pretty good. Uh, we have the rats over here. Super rats. Creative. I love rats. Over oh here, wait. I actually really shop. like this. Unironically, I mean, like, kids could just climb up here and get a really good view of all the rats. Exactly. Here we have the gift shop, which if you have a $1 budget, you're Aww. able to defy Minecraft logic. Why, they're all floating. Oh. The gravel, that is. And these are our little plushies. Wait, wait what oh, happens if you do this? Out. Oh, you're not supposed to break that. Oh, well, I, I didn't realize it'd break if I Jerk. broke that. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. Over here we have what I use your money for. This vending machine. Just a also single vending machine? Over there. Oh, and cars. Wait, why'd you buy what? cars? Whoa! You could have really used the money cars? on something way more, like, better for your zoo. I actually did. I got a fish instead of a silverfish. <gasps> you got a single clownfish? Uh, oh, wait, I don't yep. like water. Ew. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why did you get in the water? You're a cat. You hate water. Here we have the picnic area with some amazing campfires and also this thing. These oh, logs, I mean. these nice and sitting logs. They're great. And what's over here? Exhibit. Snakes. Oh, snakes. I love uh, snakes. That's a really good pick. Uh, kind of wish you maybe would have placed a bigger snake like an anaconda. I, I couldn't them. afford it. Oh, I gave you all that money. You wasted on cars, not anacondas. Okay, well, I think I have my score. Uh, I think I would have give him one diamond block. Ooh, mm. thank you. You guys are so generous. I'm gonna give you what the four, four? octopi. Oh my thank gosh. You. You're so nice. For the rattlesnakes. I like the rattlesnakes. Alright, so you got a total thank score you. of five, zookeeper. Well, now our next Not job bad. is to go look at Smilecat Zoo. Alright, I'm gonna dock points because it looks like your tree's kind of cutting out. Uh, yeah, I kind of see that just a little bit. Um, uh, I don't see it. Not a huge issue. You. Well, let's go inside and small cat, give us the tour. Well, right here you have to buy your zoo ticket. Ooh. And then over and then here, oh my gosh, you place some nice like benches. I didn't even see that benches. in his. Over here we have the, the food area, the food court, and the little gift shop in here. There's not Wait, you too place windows on your here, gift shop. That's very innovative. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then over here is all the water creatures. I have sharks and I have octopi. Oh, wait, what happened to that giant? octopus I saw earlier. Uh, what giant octopus? There was a very 
big octopus that was just right here on the on the rocks and i think it died you mean that octopus uh i mean i guess so it kind of looks like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right and then we go right here we have jaguars oh wait this looks really good probably don't want to go in I, there yeah i don't know if you should go in there but yeah, they're very deadly and they're trained yeah, to eat they seem very deadly and over here wait oh my gosh you got rhinos mm-hmm also very deadly and will kill you. Boy. Ooh. And then over here. Oh. Rattlesnakes. Also very deadly and also will kill you. And also oh, your I favorite animal. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what? you know what? I think I've seen everything and I'm ready to give my score. I do. It looks like Smiling Cat used up all of their space. to give them three scratching posts. <gasps> I'm going to give them three diamond blocks. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's a total of six. So now we just go over here and we check out my zoo, which I can assure you is the best zoo out of all of ours because I got the million dollar budget. And as you can see, I was able to afford a sign. Oh, uh, the sign kind of looks messed up on my screen. Is that the Zoonomaly sign? It is the Zoonomaly sign. Oh, it's beautiful. I like your sign. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And we have these nice doors at the front. And I also have a little place for you to get your tickets at right here. Oh. And as you can see, I use the most out of my space. Uh, it's kind of cramped over here. And there's a little bit of a uh, free space over there. We, we, we don't go over there. Um, As you can see, there are some lions in here. And they have their nice scratching posts. And I just made this place look like straight out of Africa. Same over here with the gorillas. I made it look like a jungle. And over here, we have the bald eagles. Wow. I have a complaint. I can't really see these animals. Oh, these are the red pandas. And red pandas are very timid. So that's why you can't see them. Aww. Yeah, they're easily frightened. So... And then over here, we have the orca. Uh, where's your orca? Um, oh, thank God he's gone. My orca's gone? Oh, yeah, oh there's the giant octopus that I saw before. I love him. Okay, well, this place looks, um, I don't know. I thought there was an orca here, but I guess it disappeared. And so now you've seen all my enclosures. Now I guess it's time for you to go over here Wait, and what's see. what's this one? I've never seen this one. This one? What do you mean? The gorillas? Oh, we went over the gorillas. Kill them. Them. No, them. don't kill the gorillas. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. You just recreated a very traumatic event. Oh, my bad. And then over here we have the little kids playground and a gift shop. And in this gift shop we have so many plushies. Oh, you're right. I didn't make this accessible. My bad. There you go. Oh. Yeah, doesn't this look amazing? I it doesn't look love too bad. It. All right, so well, that's my zoo. And, and things. Well, not prices. There's so many, so many things to buy. Exactly. Buy. We can I'm steal all the little rate. kids' money. Oh, you ready to rate? All right, I mean, review me. I'm going to give you Aww. three Kirby plushes. Ooh, three Kirby I'll plushes. What are you going to give me, Smile Cat? One octopus. One octopus? Uh, okay, womp, well. Womp. I only saw one octopus in there. Uh, and that wasn't even the one I placed. He placed that. Otherwise, it would have been a zero. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of a oh, Kirby after okay. that well, one. It looks like I have the lowest score. Zookeeper has the uh, second highest score. Then you are the winner, Smile Cat. <gasps> Congrats, Smile Cat. For once, I'm actually happy that you won. Have a harpy the... eagle. Oh, I yeah, I'm also happy that you won. Your build looked really good. All right, guys. Well, if you're ready, I'm ready to do the outro. The okay, outro? I'm ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. My name is Silly. And I'm the zookeeper. And I'm Smile Cat. We, we are botanist. done. Botanist? botanist? Uh, uh, we're done. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.